Dear students, now we are going to solve an important problem in FIR filter design using Blackman window. Design a filter for the given frequency response using Blackman window with n is equal to 11. The given frequency response HD of e power j omega is equal to e power minus j phi omega. When the frequency is greater than or equal to minus pi by 2 and less than or equal to plus pi by 2. Its value is 0 otherwise. Here we are going to use Blackman window method to design a filter. Okay. In the solution part, we have to consider the given filter is a symmetric filter. Because the frequency response is having the value e power minus j phi omega. Thus phi is nothing but n minus 1 by 2. So here n value is what? 11. So 11 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 5. Okay, so the given filter is a symmetric filter. The first step in the design process is to obtain the impulse response sequence HD of n. It can be obtained by using the formula HD of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi. Integration from minus pi to plus pi HD of e power j omega, e power j omega n into d omega. Then we have to substitute the value of this HD of e power j omega. Here the limit is changed from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 e power minus j phi omega into e power j omega n into d omega. Here this j and omega both are same. So we can take it outside. Then this exponential term becomes e power j n minus 5 into omega d omega. We are going to integrate with respect to omega. Then this term becomes 1 by 2 pi into e power j n minus 5 omega by j into n minus 5. Limit is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. We have to take this j n minus 5 outside from this bracket. Then this term becomes 1 by 2 j pi n minus 5 into e power upper limit is pi by 2. Okay, j n minus 5 pi by 2 minus e power minus j n minus 5 pi by 2. For further simplification, we can take this 2j inside this bracket. This term looks like e power j theta minus e power minus j theta divided by 2j. That is equal to sin theta. So we can get the desired impulse response sequence hd of n is equal to sin n minus 5 pi by 2 divided by pi into n minus 5. Here this n value varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. It is an infinite duration sequence but we are going to design FIR filter. FIR means it should have finite duration sequence. Okay. As we know that the given filter is a symmetric filter. Hence the impulse response sequence HD of n is also symmetric. E about n is equal to 5. Because here the exponential term is e power minus j phi omega. So, so the response is also symmetric e about n is equal to 5. So here we can say HD of 0 is equal to HD of 10, HD of 1 is equal to HD of 9, HD of 2 is equal to HD of 8, 3 is equal to 7 and 4 is equal to 6. Okay, so whatever value is there at 6, the same value can be occurred at this 4. That is the meaning of this. Do you all understand? So this is very important to design the filter concept. Okay, so now we are going to obtain that HD of n values from 0 to 10. Okay. For n is equal to 0, HD of 0 is equal to sin 0 minus 5 pi by 2 divided by 0 minus 5 pi. Here n becomes 0. Okay. That is equal to sin minus 5 by by 2 by minus 5 by. So here sin of minus 5 by by 2 value is minus 1. So we can simplify that. And get the answer as HD of 0 is equal to HD of 10 is equal to 0 0.0637. So next for n is equal to 1, HD of 1 is equal to sine of 1 minus 5 pi by 2 divided by 1 minus 5 pi. So we can get the answer as sine minus 4 pi by 2. So here we can further simplify this term. So sine 2 pi value is 0. Okay. So we can get that value as HD of 1 is equal to HD of 9 is equal to 0. For n is equal to 2, HD of 2 is equal to sine of 2 minus 5 pi by 2 by 2 minus 5 pi. 
that is equal to sin of minus 3 pi by 2 by minus 3 pi. So here we can get the value as 1. 1 by minus 3 pi, its value is minus 0 0.106. So HD of 2 is equal to HD of 8 is equal to minus 0 0.106. For n is equal to 3, h of 3 is equal to sin of 3 minus 5 pi by 2 by 3 minus 5 pi. That is equal to sin of minus 2 pi by 2. Here we know that sin pi value is always 0. Okay. So here h of 3 is equal to h of 7 is equal to 0. The same way we can get the value for this n is equal to 4. h of 4 is equal to sin. 4 minus 5 pi by 2 by 4 minus 5 pi. That is equal to sine minus pi by 2 by minus pi. Sine pi by 2 is 1. Sine minus pi by 2 value is minus 1. Okay. So here we can get the value as h of 4 is equal to h of 6 is equal to 0 0.3183. So finally we have to put the value 5 for this n. So in that case this h of 5 becomes indeterminate. Because if I am going to put n is equal to 5 here means this hd of 5 is equal to sine of 5 minus 5 pi by 2 divided by 5 minus 5 into pi. So here 5 minus 5 is 0. In the numerator 5 sine of 5 minus 5 is sine 0. That value is also 0. Correct. So for this n is equal to 5 this hd of 5 becomes indeterminate. So, in such conditions, we have to use the formula here. Limit n tends to 0, sin a n pi by n pi is equal to a. Here a represents a constant term. Okay, so we are going to use this formula. Okay, for that indeterminate condition, we have to use this formula. So, now we can take that h d of n value as such. So, h d of 5 is equal to, here we can put limit n tends to 0, sin of n minus 5 pi by 2 divided by n minus 5 pi. Okay. So, here we are having the same value n minus 5 pi n minus 5 pi. So, the constant term is 1 by 2. So, we can take that value as such 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5. So, h d of 5 value is what? 0.5. So, we have obtained all the impulse response sequence from 0 to 10 samples. So, the second step is to obtain Blackman window sequence for this n is equal to 11 samples. Okay. Blackman window sequence is represented as W B of n. The formula is 0.42 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi n by capital N minus 1 plus 0 0.08 cos 4 pi n by n minus 1. The limit is from minus n minus 1 by 2 to plus n minus 1 by 2, 0 otherwise. So this is the formula of this Blackman window sequence. So here this Blackman window sequence is a non-causal system. So it is having the condition WB of n is equal to WB of minus n. So you have to remember this also. It is a non-causal sequence. Okay. So next we are going to take this Blackman window sequence formula for that value minus 5 to plus 5 because here the capital N is 11. Right. So we have to Find out the values of this Blackman window from minus 5 to plus 5. So let's start with the 0 value. So WB of 0 that is n is equal to 0 means we can get the value as 0.42 plus 0.5 cos. Here n is equal to 0 means the whole term becomes 0. So cos 0 plus 0 0.08 cos. Here n is 0 means cos 0. Cos 0 value is what? 1. Simply we can add all those values. We can get the answer as 1. WB of 0 value is equal to? 1. WB1 is equal to 0.42 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi by 10 plus 0 0.08 cos 4 pi by 10. We can simplify the term further here. So we can get cos 1 by 5 by value is 0 0.809. Cos 2 pi by 5 value is 0 0.309. Okay, then simplify that values. We can get that answer as WB of 1 is equal to WB of minus 1 is equal to 0.8492. The same way we can get the values of WB of 2 that is equal to WB of minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5098. Here WB of 3 is equal to WB of minus 3 is equal to 0.2. WB of 4 is equal to WB of minus 4 is equal to 0 0.04. And then WB of 5 is equal to WB of minus 5 is equal to 0.
we can represent this non causal blackman window sequence like this okay so we have found the values of this 11 samples so here the blackman window is symmetric about n is equal to 0 but the given filter is symmetric about n is equal to 5 correct so we are going to make this non causal blackman sequence into causal blackman sequence for that we have to shift this values towards right side by 5 samples do you all understand this so this is the causal window sequence okay so we have obtained this by shifting the sequence towards right hand side by 5 samples now the wb of 0 value is 0 wb of 1 value is 0 0.04 wb of 2 value is 0.2 wb of 3 is equal to 0 0.5098 wb of 4 value is 0 0.8492 wb of 5 value is 1 so the same value can be repeated here okay then the causal blackman window sequence can be written as wb of 5 is equal to 1 wb of 0 is equal to wb of 10 is equal to 0 wb of 1 is equal to wb of 9 is equal to 0 0.04 wb of 2 is equal to wb of 8 is equal to 0 0.2 wb of 3 is equal to wb of 7 is equal to 0 0.5098 wb of 4 is equal to wb of 6 is equal to 0 0.8492 okay then the third step is to multiply the hd of n and wb of n to get the finite impulse sequence h of n so this can be obtained by multiplying these two values from 0 to 10 let's start with n is equal to 0 value so h of 0 is equal to hd of 0 into wb of 0 here hd of 0 value is 0 0.0637 wb of 0 value is 0 then we can write h of 0 is equal to h of 10 is equal to 0 so then h of 1 is equal to hd of 1 into wb of 1 here hd of 1 value is 0 so we can say h of 1 is equal to h of 9 is equal to 0 okay the same way we can obtain the values for h of 2 is equal to hd of 2 into wb of 2 that is equal to minus 0 0.0212 h of 3 is equal to hd of 3 into wb of 3 here hd of 3 value is 0 so h of 3 is equal to h of 7 is equal to 0 then h of 4 is equal to hd of 4 into wb of 4 is equal to 0 0.3183 into 0 0.8492 that answer is 0 0.2703 so h of 4 is equal to h of 6 and then h of 5 is equal to hd of 5 into wb of 5 is equal to 0.5 into 1 so here we can get 0.5 so we have obtained the finite impulse sequence values okay then the last step in the design process is to get the transfer function of the realizable filter so this is the formula for that transfer function h of z is equal to z power minus of n minus 1 by 2 h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z power n plus z power minus n so here we have to substitute the value of this capital n that value is 11 then we can simplify this term further so here it is z power minus 5 h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to 5 h of n z power n plus z power minus n in the next step we have to expand this summation process then we can get z power minus 5 h of 0 plus first n is equal to 1 means h of 1 z power 1 plus z power minus 1 plus h of 2 z power 2 plus z power minus 2 plus h of 3 z power 3 plus z power minus 3 plus h of 4 z power 4 plus z power minus 4 plus h of 5 z power 5 plus z power minus 5 then we have to substitute the values of h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 h of 4 and 5 here h of 0 is 0, h of 1 value is 0, h of 2 value is minus 0 0.0212 z power 2 plus z power minus 2 and then h of 3 value is 0, h of 4 value is 0 0.2703 z power 4 plus z power minus 4, h of 5 value is 0.5. Okay, then we have to multiply inside this, we can get that value like this. After that, we have to multiply this z power minus 5 inside this bracket. So we can get minus 0 0.0212 z power 2 into z power minus 5. So powers can be added. Okay. So minus 5 plus 2 means we can get z power minus 3. Then we can get the value as h of z is equal to minus 0 0.0212 z power minus 3 minus 0 0.0212 z power minus 7 plus 0 0.2703 z power minus 1. 
plus 0 0.2703 is a power minus 9. Here is a power plus 5 into is a power minus 5 value is what? Is a power 0. Is a power 0 is 1. Okay. Plus 0.5 is a power minus 10. So it is not in the proper order. So next we have to arrange it in a proper order. So we can start with a constant value is a power 0 value. So this is the final answer the transfer function of the realizable fir filter h of z is equal to 0.5 plus 0.2703 z power minus 1 minus 0.0212 z power minus 3 minus 0.0212 z power minus 7 minus 9 and minus 10 values so this is the answer okay from this transfer function we can write the causal filter coefficient. So here the constant term represents n is equal to 0. This is the final realized filter coefficient. So whatever we have designed. Okay. So h of n is equal to n is equal to 0 values. The constant value 0.5. Then we can write z power minus 1 value is there. That is what 0.2703. z power minus 2 value is not there. We can simply put 0. z power minus 3 value is there. We can write it here z power minus 4, 5, 6, okay, those values are not there, we can simply put zeros, okay. Then z power minus 7, that represents n is equal to 7, so we can take that coefficient minus 0 0.0212 and then z power minus 8 is not there, we can put 0. Then z power minus 9 value, then z power minus 10 values. So this is the filter coefficient of the FIR filter.